Okay, today we're going to do division by building arrays. So just as a reminder, the big number here is our dividend and the number, smaller number here is our divisor. So when we're building arrays, the divisor is the number of rows. That's how many rows that we need to build. So we'll use our graph paper and we're gonna have one row, two rows, three, and four. So we have four rows. Now we have 27 of something that we need to disperse into these four rows. So we've already counted out four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven. Then you ask yourself, were you able to build a rectangle? Now keep in mind that a rectangle has to have four squares. So we were able to build a rectangle, but we had these three left over. So that is our remainder. Then since we have four rows, one, two, three, four rows, then we ask ourselves how many were in each row? One, two, three, four, five, six. Six. So our quotient, our answer is six with a remainder of three. Let's do another problem. Let's do 18 divided by 3. Again, this is our dividend and this is our divisor. The divisor tells us how many rows to make. So we are going to make three rows. One, two, three. And we have 18 of something that we need to disperse in these three rows. So we've already counted out three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Then you ask yourself, were you able to build a perfect rectangle? The answer is yes. And in this example, we have nothing as a remainder. In our three rows, how many dots did we make? We made one, two, three, four, five, six. So our quotient is six. And because there's no remainder, you don't have to put remainder zero. It's just the quotient by itself. 